How do you build up enough money to become financially independent? You either make a lot of money, you cut down your expenses drastically, or you invest. But one of these choices outrules the rest. In fact, investing with just a modest amount of money can get you to a point where you can easily live off of $100,000 a year without even touching your portfolio. And I'll share that with you in today's video. So what's really cool is in the stock market, when you invest your money, there is a rule that can tell us how long it's gonna take for our investments to double. And that is called the rule of 72. And luckily the math isn't hard either, because if you're like me, you hate math and you hate complicated things. And luckily this is not one of them. All you gotta do, take the number 72 and divide it by your estimated rate of return. This will give you how many years it's gonna take to double your investment. So if we consider the S&P 500 index and we look at the historicals of the last 20, 50, 100 years, that average comes out to right around 10%. So if we consider that 10% rate of return, we're gonna take 72 divided by 10 and that equals 7.2 years. So roughly it's gonna take your investment seven years and two months to double. So let's say you invest $100,000 and then you stop. If you take that $100,000 and we apply the rule of 72, that investment today would be worth $200,000 in seven years and two months from today. The 200,000 will be worth $400,000 in seven years and two months from then. So let's apply an actual example. Let's say you're 25 years old today and you start investing. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna find a way to invest $1,000 a month for the next 10 years until your age 35. Assuming a 10% rate of return, your value in 10 years will be worth 200,000 at the age of 35. So you're stopping your investment at age 35 and you're just gonna let it grow over time, averaging an estimated 10%. Using the rule of 72, when you turn the age of 42, your value of your portfolio will now be worth $400,000. At 49, your value will be $800,000 and at 56 years old, your value will be $1.6 million. At age 63, $3.2 million. And all it took was some hard work and discipline in your early years from the age of 25 to 35. Now, I have some homework for you to do. What? This bloody bloke is assigning us homework. Use the rule of 72 for your own success journey. Take your current age and figure out how much money you can invest every single month. Use an average rate of return based on what you're investing in. And then what you wanna do is see how long it takes for the money to double and how soon you could potentially retire. Now, of course, even in the case of the $1,000 a month in the example I just gave for the 25 year old, it all depends, of course, on your personal situation. If you have a ton of debt and a lot of your money goes toward paying off debt, you're not gonna have a whole lot of money left over to invest. Or let's say you just don't make a lot of income you're also gonna struggle with investing $1,000 a month. But the point is start somewhere, and then as you start realizing the power of the rule of 72, who knows, maybe you'll find new ways, like I did, to reduce your expenses, to pay off your debt, so you have more money that you can apply to the stock market and to your investment portfolio. But wait, what about that $100,000 a year that I mentioned at the beginning of the video? Let me dive into that. This is where it gets very powerful. In fact, I would have started if I knew about this, if somebody actually told me this, if I stumbled on a video like this back when I was like, you know, 25 years old, I would have started right then and there. And I would have been so much further ahead today, but I only got started investing about five years ago. It stinks. And I'm well above the age of 25. Oh, well. Let's say you build up a portfolio of $1 million through smart investing as well as compounded returns. If we continue on an average rate of return of 10% per year, in your first year, when you retire with your $1 million nest egg, you could stand to make $100,000 in compounded interest alone in that very first year, which means you could withdraw all $100,000 of that return and literally not even touch your nest egg of $1 million. See, that $1 million is now your employee. It's generating you extra money in the stock market without having to tap into the resources. Even if you only grew at 7%, you can withdraw $70,000, of course, minus any taxes and everything like that. But hey, $70,000 without even touching your nest egg is pretty sweet. And depending on when you retire, this money could last you for a very long period of time. Let's say you retire at the age of 40 and the estimated rate of return stays at 10%. As you can see here, your principal, which is that money that you put in and build up over time is 1 million. And look at the total interest. Now, right from the beginning, it's zero, but in that very first year, look what happens. In 2025, 
there's your $100,000. Now, if you decide not to touch that $100,000 and not withdraw it, and let's say you find different ways to make income, well, then it's gonna compound. Now look what happens in year two. That $100,000 now gives you an additional boom, $210,000. Now you have $110,000 extra that next year and it keeps compounding. As you can see, that green line starts really taking off. That's the power of compound interest, and that's also the power of, even if you would take out the 100,000 and leave your $1 million, if that average rate of return stays high, you're feeling it. You're able to take that out without massively impacting your portfolio. And that's where the 4% rule comes in, because see, if you, if you really time this right, and you apply some very basic math, and you look at the market timings, because not every year is going to average 10%. Let's be honest, there's going to be some years that we could drop 20%. In fact, in 2022, wasn't it about like 18% down? The S&P 500 went down in 2022. It didn't return 10%. But then again, in 2023, it rebounded beautifully and made up for that. So it all depends on the timing of when you withdraw this money, and that's where the 4% rule really comes into play. So applying the rule of 72, you then have this next character, which is the 4% rule, that's gonna make you absolutely unstoppable in your financial independence journey. And to learn about how the 4% rule can apply to your life, you gotta check out this video next, and we'll see you on the next video.